Joshua chapter 19 is a description of the cities that are being given to the different tribes as they come into the promised land. Some of the tribes are Judah, Zebulun, Issachar, Naphtali, Dan. They're, they're dividing up the land and the cities. And the very last one to get their inheritance is Joshua. And he's the leader. He's the one in charge. But he waits. He's humble. He's, he's, he's willing to kind of let everyone else receive what they're going to receive. And then Joshua receives his. So all the cities and the tribes are getting their inheritance. And the final one to receive a city, well, it's, it's Joshua. And he receives a city with a very interesting name. And, and the name is Timna Sarah or Timnath Sarah. And really, the, the actual Hebrew meaning of the, the name of the city is abundant portion. And it, it's kind of like this. He's the leader, he's humble, he waits, but he receives the abundant portion. And it reminds me of, well, Joshua's kind of a picture, if you will. He takes Moses' place, he leads people into the promised land. And the analogy's always been that Moses was the law and, you know, Joshua was the land, or a picture of conquering and some see him as a type of Jesus and so Jesus you know he waited on the Lord in fact he he was willing to go all the way so to speak to the very end where he said you know father not my will but yours be done and that's sort of the picture of Joshua he waits to the very end and he says I'll get my inheritance my city last and he gets the abundant portion and here's kind of the my thinking on it you, you keep your hand to the plow. You, you say, not my will, but yours be done. You don't grab everything that comes your way at first. You wait on the Lord and you receive the abundant portion. That's what Jesus did. Think about Jesus. He goes to the cross. He, 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 he you know, does what no one else really could do, but he does it and not based on his will, but the Father's will. And the abundant portion that he receives is not only his exaltation into heaven, but our salvation. We receive much because he waited and he was willing and he put his hand to the plow. And one of the principles in life and scripture is as you wait on the Lord, as you serve the Lord, as you put your hand to the plow, not only do you get blessed, but many people get blessed when you say, you know what God, not my will, but yours be done. Then he has a way of not only giving you your inheritance, but it becomes an inheritance for others. This is the story of Joshua waiting to the very end to receive his reward.